Thailand. This is our gym in Bangkok. Please give them a warm welcome. I knew before about Master Dori, but I knew of him. I don't know why. I think he's like, you know, popular person. So I thought everybody knows who is Master Dori, you know? Very good, very good, very good. I had an opportunity to do a seminar with Master Tati a few years ago, and I told Master Tati at that time, I will fight for you one day. Very good, very good, high school. You see, don't show her. Mm, don't show her, that's it. Tati's the ladies' man, not in that sense, but for a female in the sport, if anyone's going to take you to the top or help you, I believe it's Master Tati. Face together, pick one. Pick the one you don't like, the tiger. <laughs> I'm the tiger, until 20 seconds. One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. We learned a lot about our tiger eyes. See, watch, like this. They look at each other, and I look like this, <laughs> and they don't wink. They're that good. Part one, from here to here. Part two, from here to here. Part three, from here to here. Three, you see? Few, see? Three. Doesn't matter, elbow. It doesn't mean to me anything. You see? Elbow, we break. You see? Can't take. You understand? Part three, lock it. You don't hit the best ball with a broken best ball back. That's why you learn how to lock, how to land. Master Todd is lovely. He's so friendly. He always has stories to tell us. He tends to talk a lot sometimes, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, we all laugh about it. And it's been my dream to train with him you know, for years, and now I'm finally here. I'm doing it. I think training with Master Toddy will definitely give me a, a different edge, especially in the U.S. where a lot of girls don't get the opportunity to train with a world-class coach. So I feel like, you know, it'll really, really help me out in my fighting game. Good, good, good. Today I learned when you're in your stance, keep your back heel up so that you're always quick and you're just faster. You're ready to go every time. Keep it cool for me. You understand? So you land it all. Better part. Can you do that? And then you will see, you will feel the big difference on your weapon. One of the things we learned today was the different parts of our foot that we kick with. Number one is the bottom, two is the middle, and number three is the top part of my shin. Lock your leg. Yeah, lock your leg. Learn how to land sharp. All training in my gym, we train with boys. So it's really strange for me because Girls not same like boys and they don't training like boys and I think it's more difficult to train with girls. Good job. Ah, fantastic. I learned about where you look when you're looking at your opponent. I always look here, but now today I'm looking here and when I'm throwing something, not to give it away. The training between here and home has been completely different. It actually was, was quite nice here. It was a, a little bit of a vacation away from my training at home, but it was more like technique and really working on specific skills. I already am seeing the progression as I've been here. I know that right now I get to do what I came here to do, and so the fact that I'm given the opportunity to do that is, is life-changing, yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. Now, go to the next level. Okay, let's go. I feel that I've grown as a person. It's made me stronger, more confident. Get in a taxi, I got myself here at midnight. I feel that it's something I had to do. I've got the girls here as my support. They're my new family, they're my new team. Well, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I haven't been in there fighting yet, so I don't know how, how I'm uh, gonna react to the whole situation. You're definitely gonna learn something about yourself, and yeah, it's, it's gonna be a good experience, I'm sure. I get on with the other girls because I'm, I think I'm quite easy going. I'm not one for confrontation, but once I get in the ring, it's time to fight. Training intensity here has been very different. It's taught me to think more about what's coming at me rather than just hitting pads over and over. I feel like that's going to be a benefit in my fights because, you know, the girl I'm fighting is not just going to be standing there and letting me punch her. I've got to see what's coming at me at the same time. 
since I've been here, I have learned to protect my face a little bit more and stuff like that. Usually I would probably take a lot more hits just to get in and get something, but uh, we've worked a lot of just protecting our face so we can stay cute and still fight. I had to tell the girl I'm fighting, I'm not your friend right now, don't talk to me, stay away from me. It's not normal to live and be friends with someone and then get in the ring and bash your face in. That's not a normal thing to happen. I think it's more the challenge here because there's Muay Thai everywhere. I plan on being one of Master Toddy's world champions. Um, he trained my instructor, Maury Smith. He's a nine-time world champion, so I want to follow their footsteps and I want to be a champion as well. I've been training a lot in Thailand, so I try to adapt to the way they fight. I have four wins as well, so I'm ready for the next one. I prefer it here in Thailand. This is where the sport comes from. This is where the masters are. This has been my goal for a whole year to come here, so this girl is not going to stop me. When I get in that ring, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to win, going to beat her, go home, keep focused, keep training. I'm going to be in the finals. You'll see me back for sure. My name is Rachel Monroe. I'm 43 years old and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, USA. I've been training for about four years and I think I hold my own with these young girls. My background is in ITF Taekwondo. And I got my black belt in 2006 and from there I said, you know, I, I have to see if this is really going to work and what I can do with it. My name is Marta, I'm 32 and I'm from Sweden. Martial arts is very new to me. I only started training in January this year, so it's only seven months. I, I see this as a, as a personal challenge, just coming here, put myself out of my comfort zone, both physically and mentally, and, and see where, where it takes me. My name is Mel Smith. I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I'm 26 years old, and I've been training in martial arts for now about 17 years. I started training at the age of eight. I loved it. I fell in love. I never left. I'm 26 years old now. I haven't stopped training. If I get the opportunity through my Muay Thai, through my training, to be on this TV show to go to Hollywood, oh yeah, baby, I'm going. I'm one of the tough girls right here. Australia, I'm doing it. My name is Amalia. I'm from Spain and I'm 29 years old. I've been in martial arts for almost five years in Spain. Nobody knows who is Muay Thai. Some people will ask you, uh, what do you do? I train Muay Thai. And people is like, what? I hope I will be one of the fighters. My name is Paulina Granados and I am from Ingleside, Texas and I am 23 years old. I've been involved in Muay Thai for a little bit over two years. I started doing it because I started kind of losing control of my life and um, I needed some kind of discipline. So I joined martial arts and I was just doing it for fun. And then my instructor asked me to be on the fight team and of course I said yes. I want to be a role model is what my goal is. I want to be an inspiration, you know. My name is Caroline, I'm 24 years old and I'm from Norway. I started one year ago. It was like the first day I tried it. It was like, ah, oh, why didn't I do this before? It gives me like everything because I get challenged and I, I think it's fun. It's like a feeling that you can't describe. You need to uh, have a strong body to handle that other people punching you or kicking you or and kick others. I'm one of the five. I got hot. Jai Shang, elephant heart. My name's Lanshana Green. I'm 22 years old and I'm from a town called Darlington in northeast England. 
I started training when I was about 15, so seven years ago now. My trainer actually lived around the corner from me and I was getting into trouble um, around about that time. He was like, come on down to the gym, it'll give you something to do. It's quite strange, I don't actually enjoy punching people in the face. I don't enjoy kicking people in the head, but I think that I'm good at it. I think it would be a waste if I didn't use my skills to achieve something. I'd like to be a role model. There's already girls in our gym at home who see me fight and they think that's what I want to do. And that makes me feel really good. I'll do everything I can to win. That's why I'm here. My name is Carmel Lavallo. I am 30 years old and I'm from New York in the US. I've been training for about four years now. Only had two fights, amateur fights in the US, in New York specifically. Growing up down in New York was tough. I started going to clubs early and drinking and smoking early. I got it out of the way earlier in life and now I can move on and, and fight and now I get my uh, adrenaline and my aggression out instead of doing bad things to my body, I just do other bad things to my body. <laughs> as much as somebody wants to hurt me, I want to hurt them because we've both made an agreement with ourselves that says we're going to train real, real hard to get in there and punch each other and it's going to be a great time. I hope I'm one of those five. I think I can do it. I think I stand a chance. My name is Valeria Drozdova. I'm from Russia. I'm uh, 23 years old. I start Muay Thai because I want to be strong. I start uh, training when I was 19. I training one year and uh, I fight in Russia in our uh, championship, Russian championship. I like to fight. I like to fight, not uh, fight with another people, fight with myself. When you fight, you don't uh, feel it, pain. You feel pain after a fight. I uh, want to do something and I take all my power to get it. I'm Crystal Parrish, I'm 28 and I'm from Winston Salem, North Carolina. I've been training for about two and a half to three years now. My whole life I never exactly knew what I wanted to do till I found out about Muay Thai and then I just fell in love with it and I know this is what I want to do. I will be friends with anybody but I mean in the end it's a competition, it's not, you know, it's a game. It's not like, you know, I'm fighting to kill somebody. I mean we can be friends after we fight. It doesn't bother me at all. I definitely plan on being one of the last five. I plan on winning my fight and ultimately going on to fight one of the Thai girls. My name is Amberly Watkins. I'm 24 years old and I am from Highland, Utah in the USA. I started doing Muay Thai about two years ago, so when I was about 22. I originally started out doing Muay Thai just as a good workout and then uh, my trainer, after I was there about a year, she said I should train to fight and I did and then I, was, I started fighting. So my fight is against a Thai girl, so I'm not fighting someone in the house. I don't know anything about the girl I'm fighting, so I'm kind of going into this fight blind. I'm extremely strong, and so I feel that keeping it kind of more of a boxing match, you know, throwing kicks here and there, but I feel like my boxing is going to overpower hers. I feel that, you know, I have been in it for two years. The last year was when I started fighting. I had four fights last year, and they were all amateur fights. So I feel, you know, over the next year that I'll be able to start having a couple pro fights here and there and then take it from there. My name is Hayley Jane Clarkson, and I'm from England, South East London. I've been practicing Muay Thai since I was about 17, so maybe like seven years. I walked into the gym after um, six months, I had my first like, amateur fight, and I said to my instructor, you know, I'm not here to train to get fit, I'm here because I want to fight. I was always like rough and tumble kind of girl, um, enjoyed fighting, even if I'd got beaten up in the street, you know, or jumped. Um, I'd always have a good go, so I feel like I had that, that natural sort of killer instinct, a bit of a tough girl, really. 
I just want to prove women are as tough as guys, if not more aggressive. This is a caveman sport, like, men are supposed to fight, women aren't. It's what makes us special, what makes us better. Melinda Smith, Australia. Sixty-one kilo. Oxford eight kilo. Man. Yeah. And she will be facing Amelia from Spain. Amalia Garcia, Spain. Fifty-six kilo. Half kilo, man. The first bout going to be male from Australia, and Amelia from Spain. Wow, this is going to be a fight. Who going to win? Ajan. Milinda, I'm chairman. Bong Milinda. 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 Master Saming believe in male from Australia because she have left and right punch and. Have a great kick too, Adan. Oh, Amelia from Spain have good knee and good kicker, and she taller. Spain and Australia, who will win? I'm faster, I'm stronger, I know she can reach me but I can get in and around her, I can use my power. I've watched her hit the pad, she doesn't hit it very hard. I really think that she's a very good fighter. I think she's a tough girl and I'm just a beginner, but it will be a good fight. Wow, that's your first fight. Yes, it was my first fight. I was so nervous, but I was so excited. I wasn't letting her stop me. What did you think in the ring? Didn't really have time to think. I just knew that I wanted this. I came here to win. I came here to try my best, work hard. I had to win. I wasn't going to go any other way. And the winner is Melinda Smith of Australia! And you make it. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> OK, the next fight of the night will be Valeria from Russia! Valeria Rostova, Russia. Fifty-seven kilo. Hasipte kilo. Pan. Crystal Parrish, USA. 55 kilo. Has a half kilo. And Crystal from America and Valeria from Russia. Oh, what a fight going to be. Because Crystal is who everything just to be here just to fight anyone so she can be the champion of the tough girl in the world. Varelia from Russia, a strong team who came to Thailand and make the big name for themselves. Very close fight, but he believed in Crystal and Valera Russia, okay. Look more soy. I would do ya soy ham. Valeria, Russia have good weapon, good Muay Thai skill. He will think that Russia will win the fight. This is going to be a real fight. Don't blink. Anything can happen.
I will fight here and we will see what happens. After that I go to the championship of world because I win in Russia and we'll fight in there. My kids look up to me a lot. I have sacrificed so much getting here. Their dad's been rehab. You know, there have been nights where I, to get here I had to train and I had to lock my kids in the house just to run. So for me to tell them that I just won this fight is major to me. What was in your mind to go in the ring and storm from the first minute? First round, I understand that I have more power and mm. she don't know how to stay with a strong fighter. All the audience love you. Right now, you become a hero in Thailand. How do you feel about that? I don't know that I'm a hero. I'm just a fighter, so... Congratulations. Thank you. Great job. Next in line, we have Rachel Monroe from the United States of America. Rachel Monroe, USA. Fifty-eight kilo. As bad kilo. Marta Lundeberg, Sweden. Fifty-eight kilo. Has it bad kilo? And the next one got to be Rachel from USA and Marta from Sweden. This going to be a great fight because these two, the day they first met, they don't like each other. Ajahn. Ajahn Suming, who has been a, a Muay Thai all his life and a champion, he thinks Martha from Sweden have the big right hand punch and will knock Rachel out. Ajahn Suming, Martha and Rachel, what do you think? I think Rachel has a big right hand punch. Yeah. He thinks Rachel has good knee, good knee, powerful knee, can beat a good punch. We'll see the great knee and the great puncher who going to win. I need a win tonight, I need a win for myself. I'm coming off a, a very disappointing fight from my last fight. I didn't perform as I could have. And for me, tonight is about really going out there as the fighter I know I can be and take that win back home so that I feel good about who I am again. First it's like, oh, maybe I should just wait and get better before I jump in the deep end. But then I said it to Master Toddy and he said, you shouldn't be listening to that and you should trust me that you, you're able to do this. You was a tiger, a tiger. Soon the bell ring, you go, go, go. What happened? So I was coming off a very disappointing loss from a month ago to the day. And I had made up my mind that nothing was going to stop me in that ring and that I would get a win and I would be happy with my performance. And I'm very pleased with my performance. I know Rachel, all American people will be proud of you. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Fifty-three kilo. As if Sam kilo. And she'll be facing off against Caroline from Norway. Caroline from Norway.
Carlton, Norway. 53 kilo. 53 kilo. And Paulina from America. Fight Karina from Norway. She always in a good mood, always ready to fight anytime. At the same time, Paulina, she have a fighting blood. She don't know how to go backwards. She will go, go, go. Left, right, everything will go. Chop Paulina, ครับ. This is a very fair fight. Polina have a great hand boxing and Caroline have a good skill of Muay Thai. Polina could win. Caroline uh -huh. He said Caroline from Norway also have great knee and he think Caroline win. It's going to be another war. We're friends and we were all friends in the house, but we knew in the end we're going to have to fight somebody that we're close to. I am more of a Muay Thai Dutch style fighter, so I like to punch, kick, as she likes to clinch, and I have a lot more power, so I'm confident that I'm going to come out on top. We have really different styles, so it's going to be interesting to see which style is coming out. Polina, you know your short says, get some? You know my short says, no way. I was worried in the first round. You seem to be like nice and cool and smiling. What made you become a great fighter in the ring. Oh, I think it's because I think it's so much fun. Wow, uh, what a beautiful girl like you want to be in the sport, <laughs> Muay Thai. Just because it's fun and girls can do it too. And your winner is Colin Parson from Norway! Thank you very much <laughs> and congratulations again. Good girl. Okay, next we have Kamal Abado from New York. Carmel Lovalo, USA, 54 kilo. Hard to see kilo. And she will fetch it up. Lanchana Green from Oakland. Lanchana Green, UK, 55 kilo. Hard to see kilo. And. relationship with Carmel is we've actually become friends. Everyone gets in there to win. I don't get in the ring to lose. It doesn't matter who is in there, they're in my way. Carmel, it's a sport at the end of the day. I'm going in there to win, so bring it. I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, she's a good fighter, she's very technical. It's 50-50 chance no matter when you walk in the ring, so I'm pretty confident as long as I do what I do, and remember where I come from, I should be okay. Lanchana, Muay Thai is learning how to win, lose, or fight. Hopefully this time, you learn how to lose. Your fight are incredible. It shows so much women can do Muay Thai as good as a man. I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much, Master Swadi. I'm very happy. <laughs> the game plan was to attack mm -hmm. because everyone here thinks I'm quiet mm -hmm. and shy and non-aggressive, but I knew I'd show them all what I can do once I got in there. And the winner is Lantana Green from England! Congratulations. Fantastic Open job. Open 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 <laughs> Haley Clarkson, UK. Fifty-eight kilo. Hard to bat kilo. Hard. 
Haley, you come a long way for being disappointed. I don't believe it. Everyone run away. We have number one ready to fight you. She cancelled. We have number two. Have number three. Until the <laughs> end of the night, I never think this can go wrong. And she have an accident. Is it your mind so strong or what? <laughs> Tell me about it. Obviously, I did want to fight and show my skills and show that I'm number one here. But um, unfortunately, I couldn't. I was hoping tonight was going to be my night. Thank you. Thank you. And I will make sure that you have a fight. Thank you. For sure. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and good attitude. Thank I love you. It. Next in line, we have Hamburgi from the United States of America. Amber Lee Watkins, USA. Seventy-one kilo. Seventy-one kilo. Pan. Amber from America. She tall, she big, she strong, and she's ready for tonight. She have punch, she have kick, she have everything. She got the first time fight with a Thai girl. The Thai girl called Chuk Chang, and I think Chuk Chang, we never seen Chuk Chang before, but I know very well that the Thai girl are definitely come with a hard, great knee, great fighter. I think Amber going to run into problem tonight. Amber gặp Chuk Chang. Tôi thích quân tàng chát, tôi bảo đi mắc mạng, có mi thắc sạ, mạc mạc chứ bắt muối thầy, con thầy, nãy chúng ta mạc không mới đợi. He think Amber because he's an instructor. He trained Amber, but he don't know the Thai girl. He believe that Thai girl will come strong. Amber chụp chàng. Think what? How? Amber, Amber, thắc sạ thế đại. Ni mặt. Ni mặt thì nặng thế đại. Không chia. Amber là. He think Amber have a good punch. He think Amber win. Again, this is going to be a war. Okay, we need to find another girl, a Thai girl. Can we see? Should we give it out to the crowd? We got, we got somebody. We got, we got a young Thai girl. So I'm really glad that I did get set up with a Thai girl. Only problem is now is I know nothing about her. I don't even know her name. I'm extremely strong. She could be super quick and have great form, but I feel power-wise that I'm going to be able to break her down pretty easy. She's had a lot more fights than I have. I think that they said she had about 30 fights already. So experience-wise, she has a lot more experience than me, but I don't think that's really going to be a problem at all. Amber, you are worrying me to death. I was a little worried with her just because she has way more experience than me. She's fought without shin pads and headgear, and I'd never done that before. So I was a little worried about that. But then once the fight started, I just got in my zone and did what I needed to do. You know, I felt like I really wanted it. So I wasn't, okay. wasn't going to let myself not win. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And keep training. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job.